this massive flooding has literally shredded this road like it was a piece of paper. Take a look at the damage before we start cleaning this up, y'all. Just good to be able to see it, you know. The amount of gravel and rock. You guys look at that. That is washed down off of the road. That is plywood. And those are chunks of the asphalt from the road, y'all. Oh, that is the ripped up. I'm going to walk this way. <clears throat> Let me give you guys a different perspective. That is the road that has been ripped up off. The asphalt that's been ripped up off the road. Can you guys see that? Where they've had multiple layers of asphalt on this road and it's been completely torn from it. I don't know if I can cross this safely. Ooh. Look at all that to wash out from all the trash. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay, y'all. This is not good. I mean, there's pieces of furniture here. Can y'all see? Those pieces of furniture. There's something. The legs of something there in the water. This is how high this water has gotten. It's as high as what this... There used to be a, a little, uh, there was a crop here, y'all. It's gone. The guy had planted for tomatoes. It's completely washed away. There's the creek. If you look above it, that water, I don't know if you guys can see the laid down debris. There's the creek. The water was up a good 15 feet up on that bank. 15 feet wide and about three feet up. That's probably, so you have the creek there. You have, still have water coming down from that washout up there. So obviously where that converges here, down to the creek, got going. That driveway got going. When it hit that point, there's way too much water coming in at once. The water running down from the road and also the water coming down from this mountain, which is pretty significant in height, and then they all converged in that one spot, which is what led to a lot of damage. Let's keep walking. Well, you guys see that? That was one of, we have park benches over there that we kind of had out. That's one of them. Those are made out of concrete on the bottom. That got completely picked up and just washed away all the way over here. It used to be sitting over there. Now it's right there. Look at the debris, y'all. Oh, no, 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 no. Gravel that has been washed off of the road. And look at our, that's our AC unit on the shed. That's typically closer to the front. It's been ripped out of the wall, it's laying there. Look at all this debris. Chunks of trees. Oh no. <sighs> Guys, the road up here, can you all see that? The road has completely been chunked up. It's thrown all in the, in the yard. There are just chunks, and I mean massive chunks of the road that were just ripped up and gone. Look at this. I 
I don't even know how to describe that. I'm absolutely sick to my stomach right now. That's the creek that normally is only about that size. It's all the way up here, y'all. And it is overflowing onto the road. This is chunks of asphalt that are just completely ripped up and have destroyed the whole front part of this farm. Look at this washout. I'm only gonna go so far, y'all. Our property ends right up here near this tile. This is ridiculous. I don't, don't know how safe it would be to keep going. Look at the size of this tree that is on the ground here. The road runs at a downward slope and clearly it brought all this rain too, but this is a road tile that has almost been completely ripped out of the road. Okay, we're gonna walk back to our property. Guys, the road that was here is laying over there. Okay, I want you to think about that. The road that runs this way is over there, the top section of it. That's what's been ripped out here, has been picked up and distributed all the way across the whole front part of this property. This massive flooding has literally shredded this road like it was a piece of paper and has picked it up and redistributed it, redistributed it across the entire part of this front yard here, our front part of our farm. <sighs> I'm only gonna keep going as far as I can that it's safe, guys, but this is what's really got me worried. That's the front part of our gate. There's power lines. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, I can't go in there. There's power lines that are down, y'all. If not that, water lines. I don't know if you guys can see those black wires that are right there. There's the power line. The black wires are running this way. I don't want to step into that. Those could be water lines, but they also could be part of the power lines. And I'm not taking a chance on getting That water that's running there should not be coming down. The front part of the shed is ripped open. The doors are wide open. And uh, until it's a little safer, guys, I don't... I'm thinking I'm gonna wait here to bring you some more of the aftermath of this because me stepping in there and getting... I am pretty sure those are water lines but I don't want to take any chance. Oh, let's look at this road, guys. Our road is completely gone. Do you see the chunks of asphalt? The gravel that's just washed out. That water going around that shed should not even be there. Here's the front of it. I mean, that right there, y'all, that's three feet deep. If I was just stick something in there, show you all I'm not gonna step down in there mm -mm -mm. all right y'all I will uh, keep you updated I want to get this video out now because this is just now happening 
but I will probably have a second video. I'll definitely have a follow-up whether I do a just a talking head where I sit down and tell you what we've done. But more than likely, I will come back out here and we will show you how we're going to start to clean this up and deal with the aftermath. Mother Nature, water, wind, there's nothing to play with. All right, y'all. Different circumstances. But when life hits, you get back up. And you know what we say. You just got to get up, get outside, pursue your passion. We'll see you again soon in the boneyard.